He had to respond, former director of national yeah. intelligence under President Trump, John Ratcliffe. You have been unequivocal. Uh, there is nobody, no top-ranking national security official that knows any breach of any airspace at all during the Trump era? You heard from all of them, Sean. They've come on one, uh, one after another. We've all denied it. And that's why you see the Biden administration, you know, trotting out one alibi after another. This is the, you know, um, uh, cleanup on aisle nine that we see after every one of their national security disasters. And there have been a lot where it's, well, let's blame Trump or, or say that the Trump administration did it too. And in this case, Sean, it falls apart from the beginning. As you correctly pointed out, your viewers know they didn't learn about the Chinese spy balloon from the Biden administration. They didn't learn about it uh, from NORAD. They didn't learn about it from the Department of Defense. They learned about it from two guys standing in a parking lot. The first guy saw it with the naked eye. The second guy took telephoto, uh, used a telephoto lens to take pictures that were published. Commercial airline pilots saw it. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands of Americans saw this thing with the naked eye uh, as it went from one end of the country to the other. And now what the Biden administration tells you today is this was happening during the Trump administration, but apparently objects that you could see clearly uh, in 2023 were there in the Trump years, but no one was able to see them. I mean, it's just absurd. The logic makes no sense. None of this holds up. The inescapable truth, is, is, as uh, Secretary Esper said, uh, this was an unprecedented national security breach and disaster. It was a, it was a national security bonanza for the, uh, for the Chinese Communist Party, and it was a disaster for our country in terms of what was uh, accomplished. And now even worse to hear some Democrats trying to spin this like it was a good thing or a coup. If it was a good thing, the logic, Sean, follows that uh, if it was a good thing and we were collecting intelligence on China, should we all be hoping that Vladimir Putin launches a spy balloon that'll cross the country next week and the mullahs in Iran will do one the week after? That would be great, wouldn't it? No. Again, the absurd logic that the Biden administration keeps applying, you know, shows you why this national security team that he has around him, you know, failed you at our border, failed you in Afghanistan, failed you in deterring Putin. Uh, in Ukraine, and now they're trying to sell their tough on China. No one's buying it. All right. So, but Biden is saying that the spy flight is not a major breach, uh, which is stunning to me. Um, the fact that they were told, as you rightly point out, by a, a guy that took a photo in Montana is, is pretty staggering to me. Doesn't that show that there is a vulnerability? Uh, you can fly something the size of three school buses above the United States, move it all around the place, and, and it go undetected? Uh, wouldn't that open us up to a potential uh, bioweapons attack? Attack, an EMP attack, some kind of uh, even perhaps a nuclear attack. And then we have the NORAD commander telling us he's not ruling out aliens in the, it, or extraterrestrial beings. Uh, do you ever hear about extraterrestrial beings as director of national intelligence? Well, uh, you know, we do have unidentified aerial phenomenon. That's clearly not what anything here. These are slow moving, drifting, you know, uh, the numbers two, three, and four that, that have been shot down recently. They, for all we know, they may be sky trash. But the Chinese balloon, uh, spy balloon that we do know about, number one, was on a dedicated mission, and it was a major breach. Uh, and it's, it's inescapable, the damage uh, that was done to our national security. And you're seeing it, you're seeing China respond to it. I mean, first of all, you know, the, the reaction to this was first to deny it, then to downplay it, uh, then to demand it back, and then to accuse us of doing the same thing. And you talked about it, Sean. Now they're getting more aggressive with our, our allies and friends in the Indo-Pacific, with the Philippines, with Taiwan. Why wouldn't they? They've had, there's been no deterrence from this administration with respect to China, and I only see this getting worse. Well, we appreciate it, Director Ratcliffe. Uh, scary scenario, I think, a vulnerability that I, I never thought would exist in our lifetime is, is right there hovering above our airspace. Uh, pretty scary. Uh, Director Ratcliffe, thank you.